Here is a new release from Oris, part of their summer collection. This is a very much labeled as a watermelon, but I can't help but think it's very similar to like a Kermit, but sure, we're gonna talk watermelon. It's definitely a watermelon green. There's also a red dial variant. I'll get that on the show eventually, but this guy here come, they call it a 41 and a half millimeter. I measure it at 41. Maybe you can get 41 and a half somewhere, but it's more like 41. And these Oris Aquas wear smaller. For me personally, seven, seven and a quarter inch wrist, I'm going to go with the 43 and a half millimeter and it's going to wear smaller. But I, the only reason I say that is because if you're worried about a 41 and a half millimeter and you're more like, I really only wear like 39 millimeter watches, this is probably the watch for you. But definitely go try them out. This one is from Saltzman's in Rhode Island. So if you're up in the Northeast, you could swing up there and check it out. Um, but, you know, I would say maybe if you have access to an Oris authorized dealer, try on a couple different sizes and then get a hold of my guy Richard up at Saltzman's. Uh, name drop me and he'll take care of you. All of that information will be down below in the description. So let's get into this guy here. So like I said, I measure the case and the bezel. Actually, if you look at it from the side profile, see how the case kind of flares out a little bit? So the case on the bezel at the bottom part here and then at the bezel is about 41 millimeter. The lug to lug is roughly 49 millimeter. You have proprietary uh, tri-star screws holding that bracelet on, which you can get that screwdriver from Morris. Um, so that's 49 millimeter. The thickness is 13 millimeter. You can see that really nicely done double domed sapphire crystal up top, as well as that bright white ceramic bezel insert with green inlay, really tying all those colors in together. The lug, it's not a lug opening, but the width here is roughly 21 and a half millimeter and the bracelet tapers down nice to 16 millimeter. And then you have a very simple fold over clasp with three micro adjust. And of course you'll have a dive extension as it is a legitimate dive watch. And it does offer 300 meter water depth rating on this as well as a, well, they call it the movement 733-1. In reality, it's a Oris, you know, Oris rotor applied Salita SW200. That's what the movement is. So great movement, no problems there, no issues. Uh, but you can see there a nice little display case back showing off that red Oris rotor as well as the automatic movement parts. So like I said, you have that SW200 in there with the six o'clock date window, very legible with white and then black printing. I know a lot of people like color match date wheels and everything like that. That makes them harder to read. This is a more legible way of doing a date wheel. So. And then you have a nice oversized seven millimeter screw down crown signed and keeping that water resistance. Price point on this guy, $2,700. But like I said, get a hold of Richard, tell him I sent you, see what kind of deal you can work. There it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. You can see the 41 and a half that this one claims to be works perfect. It's probably a more ideal size. I've owned Aquas in the past. I've tried a lot of Oris Aquas on wrist. I just gravitate towards the 43 and a half millimeter, but the 41 and a half is probably a Goldilocks size uh, for a, a wide range of wrist size. And then that taper on the bracelet is just phenomenal. If you have not tried an Oris Aquas, I strongly urge you to go try one. It has a really nice 120 click bezel. Nice sound to it, good tactile feel, and lines up. A little bit of play in it, not much. Let's give this thing a quick blast with the UV light and check out the loom. Excellent loom on the Oris watches, a strong heavy application of BGW9 on the handset, the markers, as well as the little pip. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next. You know what I didn't do? I forgot to do. You thought I was done. I'm not done. I don't know that I really gave you a good close-up look at it. We have a little bit of dust there. We'll call this, it's not really B-roll because I just continued videoing, but 
That green is superb. You see why I kind of call it Kermit? Have you guys, you've, you obviously know about the Oris Kermit, where it has a little Kermit on the date window. That's all, that watch is a lot more money. So you can kind of get that Kermit vibe with this thing or the summer watermelon vibe. Whatever one you're going for, it has both. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next vid.